Today we're going to cover how to add gravity forms to your Elementor website. There are a few ways to add gravity forms to Elementor. You could use a third-party plugin that gives you sort of a nice wrapper, lets you do some styling and things, uh, and provides a block right inside Elementor for interacting directly with your gravity forms. You could use the shortcode method, which we covered in our how to add gravity forms to Divi video. Feel free to check that out if you're curious. There'll be a link in the corner of this video for that. Uh, and that gives you some pretty raw control over the shortcode provided directly by gravity forms. The third way is the way we'll cover today, which is to use the standard WordPress block that gravity forms provides right within Elementor. So to get started, we'll go to the form we want to add. This is our uh, Elementor page here and it's just a blank page. And this is the form we wanna add. And so if we go in and take a look at it, see first name, last name, email. If we were to use the short code method as uh, described in that other video, we'd be able to grab that right from here and copy the short code. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna to go to our pages and hit edit with Elementor for the first page. And you can see I've already added an example here. We'll go ahead and delete that for now. And if we look on the left-hand side, we'll see all the possible elements that uh, we have available. Uh, the WordPress default editor calls them blocks. Elementor calls them elements. I sometimes will use those terms interchangeably. But if we look under basic, we'll have the standard you know, button, space, or Google Maps. We'll collapse that. We'll collapse pro. I'm not using a pro install on this one. There's general. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, there's WordPress. And the way that um, Elementor provides some extra functionality is uh, all the default WordPress, or at least a lot of the default WordPress blocks that you'd find on a, a standard Gutenberg style block editor, they have sort of wrapped and made available to you here. So that way you get as much value uh, and possibilities as possible when building your Elementor site. And so if we go all the way down to form, that is actually the gravity forms block that is added to WordPress by gravity forms itself. So if we drag that in, we'll see that it already grabbed the only form that's on the site, but we can go over here and say, select a form. In this case, example form is the only form provided. We can choose to display the form title if we want. We could display the forms title and hide the Elementor version title if we want to, which makes this sort of the uh, more traditional gravity form styling. We could display the form description if we had one. And we can also adjust some values here that pass back to the gravity forms shortcode itself. And then if we head over to advanced, we'll have the Elementor properties where we could style this up more specifically. These aren't included in the default WordPress blocks. This is the value that Elementor adds on top of the block. So we can add transform, sizing, padding, custom CSS. Um, you can see that the styles are a little bit uh, basic, but uh, not unserviceable by any means. So we'll just go ahead and hit update here. And then we'll hit preview and we can take a look and see how that's looking. And yeah doesn't look too bad like the um, the spacing is a bit big but otherwise I'd say that's a, a, a very presentable form and so if we just put in some test data here uh, test2 at test.com and we hit submit nice thing about using this feature is that the confirmation message will show right within our page so we're not going to get redirected elsewhere we're still inside the Elementor page we created and then if we go back to our form and we go to entries we're going to see that test2 at test.com. This definitely is talking back to this form, not some other um, random form on the site. It's definitely using our gravity form here. And we can view that submission. And that's all there is to it. Nice and clean, easy functionality, and just a great example demonstrating the power of the amount of Elementor's uh, elements they have available. That's all for now. Please subscribe to the Websites Made Simple channel so we can bring you more tips like these. And have a great day.